everyone. Welcome to part two of Saint on the Move. Where is our Saint Gregory the Great today? Well, here we are, always starting out in the reception office in the parish. And the first clue is, oh my, go to the IHM convent. That's where I live. And that's where some other IHM sisters live. Well, let's head over there. It's a little windy right now, but we'll go over to the convent and see if we can find another clue. Well, here we are at St. Gregory Convent. We've got to clue number one. And for the last 56 years, IHM sisters have been living in this convent. And right now, there are five sisters that live here. So let's go in. Well, here we are at St. Gregory's Convent. There, right now, there's five IHM sisters that reside here. Myself, Sister Emily works at Barry Robinson. Sister Rita Keller, who taught here for years at St. Gregory's School, is now over at St. Pius. Sister Regina is at Blessed Sacrament in Norfolk. And Sister Dolores is at Prince of Peace in Chesapeake. But anyway, let's get to the task at hand. Number two. Hmm. Go to an important room in the convent. Well, we have lots of important rooms. Upstairs are all the bedrooms. I, I think maybe St. Gregory might need a snack. Let's go check out the kitchen. And I think I hear one of the other sisters in here having her lunch. Anybody in here? Oh, Sister Brenda. I'm here. Good. Who? Oh, and who is this? Hello. Welcome to St. Gregory Convent. What are we all doing here today? Well, today we're looking for St. Gregory the Great. Oh, today you, is the day. You know how last time he was hiding over in the church, but we yes. found him. So we're going by our clues. So let's take a look. Have you seen him by chance in our convent? Well, I just finished my lunch and he hasn't come and asked for some lunch with me today. All right. I don't think he would be in any of the cabinets. Do you? I don't think so. No. Not if he's coming into the kitchen for a visit. Okay. Well, then maybe we need to find another important room. Well, there's lots of important rooms in this convent. How about if we go to the community room? Oh, wonderful. We spend a lot of time there. The community room is like your family room, but we call it our community room. So notice we have a nice pictures of our Blessed Mother here, or another one of bless, Blessed Mother. Oh, here's our community room. This is where we watch TV or movies or Sister Regina, who's not here. She is our, she makes baby blankets and then gives them to the poor. She's our number one crocheter. And well, I don't see them anymore. And well, Sister Emily, any other suggestion? Uh, the most important room in the convent, Sister Brenda. How could I forget that? Uh, what do you think is the most important room in the convent? Right? Our chapel, every IHM chapel has a, every IHM convent has a chapel. So the IHM convents in Pennsylvania, down in Savannah, and Lima, Peru, Miami, Raleigh, here in Virginia Beach, we all have the most special room in the whole convent, and that's the chapel. So maybe St. Gregory's saying some prayers. Let's go check it out. So here's our chapel. Sister Rita, as I just said, works at St. Pius School, but she used to be here at St. Gregory's for years. So let's take a look at our chapel. Today is Friday, May 1st, so we said before, May is the month of Mary, so of course you have to have a Mary statue. And May 1st is a feast day of St. Joseph. Remember we said St. Joseph the worker. 
St. Joseph gets two feast days, one on March 19th when he's, remember, the husband of Mary, and today he's the work, and you can see, of course, his hammer and his saw. And like at church the other day, we have a tabernacle, and do you see the sanctuary lamp over there? Do you see the little flame? That tells us that the Blessed Sacrament is in our tabernacle. So when we come into, cha tab into the chapel, we either bow or we genuflect to acknowledge our Lord's presence. Sister Regina, her charge is the chapel. She still has managed to keep a few Easter lilies alive and some other plants. And notice that we have the Stations of the Cross on the wall. Remember last time we met looking for St. Gregory? We sh showed you the stations in our church. Well, these are much smaller, but of course the 14th station, the first one is Jesus is condemned to death. Another thing I wanted to show you is this special book. This is our intention book. And the sisters, when they have a family or friend or someone in their ministry that asks them for special prayers, they come home and they take the pen, of course, and write the, the person's name or, or what the situation is. And we we'll just usually say, for all those people written in the, our special book. Recently, I wrote my, I have a cousin, he's a doctor in Maryland, Dr. John Barth, and I wrote his name. And I also wrote, I have a cousin who's a nurse practitioner. So we're praying for all, of course, the people in the medical field that they stay safe. So. If you ever have any special intentions, you could just tell any of the sisters, we'll come home, we'll write it in the book, and we'll remember to pray for you. But it doesn't still help us to find St. Gregory, does it? So it looks like we need some more help to find St. Gregory. So here's our third and last clue. Sing a new song unto the Lord. Well, that's part of a hymn, isn't it, Sister Rita? It is. Maybe it'll help us find St. Gregory. Oh, sounds good. Sing a new song unto the Lord. Let your song be sung from mountains high. Sing a new song unto the Lord. Singing alleluia. Well, that, that was nice, but we're still looking for our... <gasps> who do you have there? Look who was guarding our Sing a New Song. <laughs> Sister Brenda, he's here. All right, I knew we'd find him somewhere in our convent. St. Gregory the Great, pray for us. But you know what, my friends? St. Gregory, when we met last time... He forgot to give you homework. Now, this is fun homework. It's easy homework, trust me. But he asked me to tell you the homework for today is sometime before tonight, sometime before you go to sleep, could you say a prayer, maybe the Our Father or Hail Mary, and ask God to call more young women to hear his voice, to be a sister servant of the Immaculate Heart of Mary. We need more IHM sisters. So that's St. Gregory's homework for you. Pray that more young women will enter the mother house sooner than later. Amen.